Hey, Mistrick. Who are you? Uh, Yakov Shmirnov? That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? Um... You tried to have me arrested once, a long time ago. Remember? Listen, Sonny. I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. <laughs> I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Uh, but I didn't I didn't get to knock yet. I keep tripping over this tripwire. I'm trying to step over it, but it keeps making me like knock into it. But I guess that's the only thing I can do. It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Oh, I don't have the newspaper anymore. Um... I brought you this! I ain't interested in flowers! But wait till you hear. And I especially ain't interested in talking flowers! Put them away! Okay, what about uh, some tickets? Want some tickets? I brought you these tickets to the expo. What expo? The expo you left when you swiped the DeLorean and jumped back in time. Hmm. <laughs> Stop messing with my brain! I don't know nothing about time travel, and I never did. And what's more, I never talk about the past! Um... I hate to see it like this. What do I do? I brought you... him! Him? Who oh, him? Him who? Sure, you remember him. Carl Sagan. Uh, the guy you framed as a speakeasy arsonist. Speakeasy? A arson? That's complete gibberish, Sonny. Whatever you're talking about's got nothing to do with me. I never involve myself in such criminal shenanigans. Still... His features remind me of someone. Look hard! Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend! My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. <laughs> oh no, this should be good. <laughs> it is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! <gasps> Emmett! Uh, how did I get so turned around? H have I been dreaming or. Well, stay there! Alright, here it's we a go. Classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. This is going to be interesting. I don't know how to deal with this situation. Um, oh, Lord.
Darling, you've come back! Oh my. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Negative. Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, shoot. Uh, baby face, sweet stuff, schnookums. I don't. Uh, schnookums. Uh, uh, schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. <laughs> I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic. What's this? Um. Okay. Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh! Oh, what happened? Are you okay? What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it oh. be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Okay, um... Here's something that'll make you remember. Remember what? I don't like to remember. Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October 13th, 1931. Yes. Oh, boy. And something's about to happen. Oh, yes, yeah, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. It'll break the spell. Help me figure something out. Yes? I still can't believe my grandpa married Trixie. Well, what are we gonna do? It's a dire situation, but I'm afraid I'll have to take a back seat to unraveling this unspeakable catastrophe. Um, I, I don't see the option for. I'm not sure what she's searching for. Did Detective Parker do something to Edna at the expo? Yeah, he tried to arrest her. That must be it. Can you think of a way to prompt her memory? Oh yeah, okay. I didn't I'll figure think she something wanted to hear it now. I'm hold sure on. you will. Hold on, hold on. I got just the thing for you. You know, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh! He's after me! <laughs> oh my god. Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well... No use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And here it comes. Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. <laughs> oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? At, oh, uh oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Oh, shoot. Um... Shoot. Oh, wrong button. Um, what can I do? What can I do? Um... I 
I don't suppose the flux capacitor still works. I build my parts sturdy, but not that sturdy. <laughs> then what am I supposed to do? Uh, that's it. Let me take a hint. I'm gonna need one. The sight and sound of a time jump. Um, ah, flashes and bangs. Okay. Okay, I can figure that one out. Where's the uh, tripwire? Here they come! The lights! I'm being transported! Where? Back! Back! To the past! What do you see? Hill Valley! But it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Uh oh Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! <laughs> this is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland, quick! We've got to bring this story to a climax! That hat. On the cactus. Where's that hat? This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Alright. You could step over the tripwire then, Marty, but you couldn't do it before. Come on, man. Nice fit. Looks like a Strickland to me. Like my little brother, perhaps, but not like my grandfather. Grandfather was much more uh, shaggy. Shaggy, you say, huh? What about this mop over here? I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Alright. It just broke. Why the heck is it... This game. Grandfather, oh, we're here. How well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic to be sure, but all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept, and the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, and I know the reason why. Why? why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. <laughs> I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> but who's this? Who? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Oh, Tannen. Yes. Good guess. Look at him, acting like a big shot, throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony. And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... Uh, Salute. A... Uh, a what? I don't know. A saloon. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Saloon. Where's the saloon sign at? Uh, where was it? Shoot, I don't remember. Um, there it is. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt.
Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt oh, the trance. Well, where am I supposed to hang it? Uh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. On this cactus? <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, uh... Is there something over here I could put it on? The mailbox, maybe? Not sure what that'll do. Uh, oh, oh, uh, she was looking at the outhouse on the porta potty. There we go. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that! Grandpa, you can't let him do it! You can't let that snake ruin paradise! If they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. You're gonna burn it. I wonder what's cooking. You're doing it all wrong. Oh. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Oh my. Miss Strickland. Oh my. Isn't it beautiful? The devil's were consumed by the fires of righteousness! <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. <laughs> oh. What is it, Edna? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. Yep. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> did I lay it on too thick? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Aha! Uh Hill -huh. Valley destroyed my fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876! Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Oh, am I, no. Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the oh, powers no. invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals hey. to... You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? <laughs> this is your cue to skedaddle. Right, <laughs> your cue to skedaddle. <laughs> Oh my gosh, 